This is a helium tank that I'm going to use building my new forge. The first thing I'm going to do is cut off the top and bottom. I'm using an air power die grinder with a little thin abrasive cutoff wheel. This is how the leg assembly is going to go together. And I'm just going to weld it all up. Now I'm cutting the hole for the propane burner. I didn't have the right size drill bit, so I'm using the die grinder and cut off wheel again. I rough cut it with the die grinder and filed it to shape. This is ceramic wool. It's going to be the first layer of insulation in the forge. I'm going to use a cast interior for the core of the forge. These two pieces of PVC are going to work as the mold for the concrete to go around our refractory cement. So there it is, ready to be filled. I siliconed the bottom of the tank to a piece of wood so the refractory cement wouldn't leak out. I'm using Mizzou refractory cement. The process was put a layer in, tamp it down, put a layer in, tamp it down till, till it gets full. I covered both pieces of PVC with axle grease, hoping it would make a good mold release. The little burner pipe came out fairly easy. I just twisted and pulled it till it came out. The big pipe for the interior, the part of the interior was a bear and a half to get out. I probably spent close to an hour with different drifts trying to hammer it out. It eventually came out and worked well. There are all the parts. Now I've got a wire brush on the angle grinder. I'm just getting all the silicone off and some of the excess refractory. Now 
Here's the piece of metal that I'm going to use for a handle. This piece of metal is going to be a support for the burner tube. And that's the way my welding goes. This is what I'm going to use as a burner. I have another video I'll put a link to that gives more details on that. I'm going to use this as a saddle to bolt the burner tube. And these are the clamps to hold the burner tube to the forge. This is a choke that goes on the burner. This is the way it all fits together. And here's the four sides of the forge. And here's a picture that shows the way the flame swirls on the interior. Thanks for watching.